Amen. Again, this is Dr. N.D. Audu, the man of God from Nigeria, Africa, the devil troublemaker, making trouble with the devil. And this is why God is allowing this program to inspire you, encourage you, so that you can be an instrument that God will use to trouble the devil's come too, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah! Now we're going to read something from the, uh, the Gospel of St. John, chapter 10. And uh, I would like you to take your Bible. This is the same thing in your Bible to accept if your Bible maybe might be written by the devil. But I don't hope so. I pray that you, you're using the God type of Bible. But what we'll be reading here is good news really from the Bible, the Word of God Himself. Matthew chapter 10, verses 14, all the way to 18. He says here, I am the good shepherd. That's Jesus speaking. And I know my sheep. And I am known by my sheep, or none of my sheep. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. And all the sheep I have, which are not of this sheep for, them also I must bring and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Verse 17. Therefore do my father love me. I'm reading from the King James Version. Because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. I love that. Hallelujah. I lay down my life, and I take it off again. But let's continue. Verse 18 particularly. No man taketh my life from me, but I lay it down of myself, of my will, of volition. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. Hallelujah. This commandment have I received of my Father. Look, I tell you, if you just listening to this reading along, you would know that Jesus wasn't a perhaps, maybe type of dog. He was an authoritative man a man who was unique or he was the man of men he was unique he was none of the second adam and the last adam he spoke with so much of bone why because he was god the word who became god the son and then became you know not only god the word and god the son of god he also became god the son of man so that by him becoming the son of man you and i now through him can become the sons of god that is a powerful revelation from god's word to mankind but look at what he says here i laid on my life for my sheep i laid on my life that means i gave it away i gave it away i gave it away but then he put the nail on the devil's coffin he said to him not only that i have power to lay it down i have also power to raise it up no human being could have said anything muhammad couldn't say it buddha couldn't say it Shinto couldn't say it, Adam Hitler couldn't say it, you know, I mean, all the pharaohs couldn't say it, the emperors couldn't say it, no president of any nation, religious founder, prophet, nobody could say that, but Jesus said it. Oh, hallelujah! Now, you see, that boosts my confidence in him, to let me know that I am following the man who did die, but arose. That is what the gospel is all about. We, as believers, are following somebody who gave his life. He died, yes. But he didn't stay there. He arose. Three days only, he went on vacation, went and whooped the devils for you and I, got the keys out of the, the heart of the hands of the devil, came out and said, now nah, all power is given to me. Go into all the world, preach the gospel, demonstrate the gospel. And this is what God is using this ministry to be doing. And, and I know you are excited now. That's why I want you to stay tuned at mymiracletv.org as well as raisingtheday.org. And I'm your host, Dr. Andy Audu, telling you, come join me. Let us follow this man who did die, but he arose. You know, some...